Hello everyone! Today's video is another one of my favorite trips ever. And this video is actually the last big family vacation that we took as a family of four. And um, it's the most, it's not our most recent trip. We went on the Royal Caribbean cruise on Mariner of the Seas um, this last August, but that was just me and Megan and Ben. And as I told you in my Ireland video, which was the introduction to this series, that did not make my favorite trips list. So um, the trip I'm going to talk to you about today was our cruise on the Disney Wonder in March of 2017. This was um, over our spring break that year, Andrew's college spring break and our spring break from school here at home were the same. They were the same his freshman year as well, but that year we didn't have any money. <laughs> so um, we didn't do anything. We actually sat at home bored that spring break, which I have vowed to never do again because it was awful. Everybody else was going on all these vacations and we were just sitting here at home in the gray gloomy late winterness of Wisconsin. So, but uh, March of 2017, we took a four night Bahamas cruise on the Disney Wonder. It was actually a very last minute booking because I had to do some whole changing around because of a show that Megan was going to be in. And I remember now, I talked about this one other time, but I remember now what the deal was. They had auditions for two shows on the same night. Winnie the Pooh and The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Winnie the Pooh's The Show was going to be the very first weekend of March, or the first two weekends. Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe was going to be the show that went over the first weekend of our spring break. Megan auditioned for both. She really wanted to get a part in The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, but because she wanted to do that, that messed up the cruise we were going to take. We were originally booked on the Disney Dream, and if she had gotten a part in Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, that wouldn't have worked because the day it left, we couldn't have gotten down there in time. But it turned out she didn't get a part in Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. She got a lead role in Winnie the Pooh. She was Christopher Robin. She did a great job. <laughs> um, so she got the part of Christopher Robin in Winnie the Pooh. And so, but by that time, I think I had already canceled or rebooked the cruise onto the Disney Wonder. Now, I will say, I'm glad we got to go on the Disney Wonder it had recently come out of a dry dock and a refurbishment and it was it's beautiful and our last trip on the Disney Wonder had been with my dad and my husband and as I've said traveling with them wasn't always the funnest thing for me and especially my dad got seasick on that one and so this kind of made up for that Disney Wonder cruise because this was better um the ship was beautiful. So I think it was actually a Tuesday. It was Tuesday or Wednesday and then four nights, I think. We flew down. So, but it didn't matter because Megan didn't have a show because she wasn't in line in the Witch in the Wardrobe. Winnie the Pooh had been two weeks earlier or whatever. We flew down. Oh, but because I booked it last minute, our room choices were very limited. And we only got a standard inside stateroom which is the only kind, the only category of Disney Cruise Line stateroom that does not have the split bath. However, it has a regular nice bathroom like any other cruise ship stateroom would have, like what we had on Royal Caribbean. So really wasn't a big deal. The split bath is just kind of a bonus. Um, we uh, had a room, though. It was 5515, I think, 5505. It was on deck five, and it's one of the ones that's turned sideways. And I really liked that room layout configuration. It's unusual, and it felt more spacious, I think, because of it. I don't know. It just was a little different. If you look on the deck plans for Disney Wonder, you'll see what I mean. There, there's a few of them on, like, five, six, seven, eight decks. Yeah, I think. Um, forward, but not totally forward not too far from the forward elevators. Anyway, uh, we flew down and at night in the evening, got there, took a shuttle to a nearby Hampton Inn, stayed overnight in Hampton Inn. I got that room free with my Hilton Honors points. Big suite. Um, and then had breakfast at the hotel, 
took the hotel shuttle back to Orlando International Airport and then took Disney's Magical, or no, it's not Disney's Magical Express, whatever the Disney shuttle is called, the buses that take you to the cruise ship to Port Canaveral, which you do have to pay for. Um, but, but they're really nice. And they show you a video on the way there about your cruise and stuff you need to know and stuff like that. And then um, took that to Port Canaveral, got on the ship. We had four nights on the ship. And when we came back, we took the bus back to the airport and then just flew home. Um, the itinerary for this cruise was Nassau, which we did not get off. Um, Castaway Key, where we did the bikes, which was fun. And we tried to snorkel. <laughs> we did not actually successfully. Well, Megan did a little bit. Um, it was really cold. Um, so we didn't really go in the water at all. Um, on the ship, the kids went down the water slide and stuff, but the ocean water was freezing. And this was mid-March. Um, and uh, we did not stay on the island for the barbecue. And I remember Andrew was a little annoyed with me, but he said he predicted that we would do that. We went back to the ship and ate in cabanas in the buffet. I'm just not a barbecue, picnic-y food fan. That's just not my thing. I'm kind of... I'm not a vegetarian, but I really prefer vegetarian stuff, and that's not necessarily that veggie friendly. And I'm always just a little bit wary when food is sitting outside in the heat. I don't know. It just makes me nervous about, like, food poisoning and stuff. So we went back on to Cabana's, and then we went back over and did, like, the snorkel stuff after lunch. Um, and then we had one sea day as well. And... Loved all the shows. We loved the dining experience. We were actually at a table by ourselves, just a table for four. If I remember right, our rotation was the first night we were in Tiana's place, which had just opened with the dry dock. Um, loved the atmosphere. I didn't personally care for the food choices. Um, I think the second night we were in... Um, Hmm. Second night, I think we were in the the grand ballroomy one, whatever it's called. Um, the third night, I think we were in. An no, that can't be right. I feel like we went back to Animator's Palette twice, or maybe we went to the Princess one twice. That might have been. I don't know. I can't remember what our was rotation was. But when you're on a four night cruise, you end up going to one restaurant twice. On a seven night cruise, you repeat all of them. But um. They thought I was kind of a picky eater, and they actually sent the chef out to talk to me. And I just told him, I said, I really would appreciate it if you'd have more vegetarian options, because they usually only had one, and it was just kind of limiting. But the desserts were fantastic. I love the desserts. We basically ate in cabanas every day for lunch. Um, we went to a, at least one... Oh, we went to Beauty and the Beast, the live-action movie. I remember that. We might have gone to one other movie, too. I can't remember, but we went to all the shows... Except for the ventriloquist guy, we didn't go to that one. I think that night we went to a movie instead. And the boys watched, I think, two movies up on the deck late at night. Which I feel like they were both like Marvel superhero movies or something. Um, ha we met all the princesses. You had to get tickets for that, but it didn't cost any extra. Um, we went to like every photo opportunity we could. Every night before dinner and after dinner, around the dinner hour... There are photo opportunities to meet the characters, and we pretty much met everybody you could meet and got lots of great family portraits. I had pre-ordered the full portrait package, which gives you on all your photos. It gives you all your photos on a flash drive. I did it on our Royal Caribbean cruise, too. I highly recommend that. It's a very good deal because then you own all those photos. You get the rights to them, and you can do anything with them you want. You can make a calendar, which I always do. You can make a photo book, which I always do. You can print them. You can make them into Christmas cards. You can do whatever you want because you own the photos. If you want to, and it's like, I don't know, 100, 150 bucks. If you buy your photos separately, it's like 20 bucks a photo and they print you this photo. You don't get the digital copy. You just get a printed photo. Well, to me, what am I going to do with that? I mean, I did get... We, if you had bought the all-inclusive package like I did, you got your printed photos that you got on board for five bucks. 
I did get one or two of those. I have one in a nice big frame downstairs in our dining room that of all four of us like on the grand staircase. Um, so I really recommend pre-buying the photo package, not only on cruises, but also when you go to Disney World. Get the memory maker. It's really worth it. Um, so we had a great time. Um, Andrew enjoyed sitting in the sun reading his book. Kids loved the ship. I mean, it's just their ships are so pretty. Um, we really are very excited to go on another Disney cruise as soon as we can. As soon as we got off, we were trying to figure out when can we go on another one. So um, I'm sure we'll go on more Disney cruises in the future. I would really like to get the opportunity to go on every Disney ship. Currently, there are four. The Magic and the Wonder. I've been on the Magic, the Wonder twice. Have not been on the Disney Dream yet, and we have not been on the Fantasy. The Fantasy, like I said in one other video, is very expensive because it usually only does alternating seven-night Western and Eastern Caribbeans. Every once in a while, you will see an extra little Fantasy cruise because they're repositioning or something. Like, there's a two-night or three-night coming up next in 2019. Um, and I kind of thought about, like, hmm, should we try to do that? Because that might be our only opportunity to take the Fantasy. Um, and then they have three more ships on order with Meyerwerf Shipyard, so in Germany. So those will be coming, I think, in 2021, 2022, and 2023. So watch for those. So I can't imagine I would ever have a bad experience or not enjoy myself on a Disney cruise. As you can see, two of my three Disney cruises made my list of my favorite trips ever. So um, love Disney cruising. Um, thank you guys for watching and thank you for, um, subscribing to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell. And I, uh, hope you enjoyed this series on my favorite trips ever. Hopefully I will take more trips in the future that I can add to it. Safe travels, everyone.